What's up? Coach Dan Blewett here. In today's video, we're going to do rundowns. So if you don't know how to do a rundown, today's going to give you a good idea of the major things that you need to work on. So number one, the biggest goal is to make the guy sprint. You should know this well. If someone's chasing you and you're sprinting full speed, it's really hard to change direction. The biggest problem with bad rundowns is that players just kind of do this and they're just jogging after them and they get to stay with their head on a swivel, these runners, and they can change direction really fast because they're not forced to go in any one direction very fast. So the number one rule is make the runner sprint by sprinting at him fast. Put the fear of God into him. Number two, you always need to peel off to the right after you make your throw. That way everyone knows where they're going after they get rid of the ball. Because if the runner runs into you as a fielder, he gets the next base for free. And you don't want to collide with your fielders because then the rundown is probably going to be a disaster. So rule number two, definitely make sure you peel off to the right, not the left, so everyone does the same thing. Um, rule number three, pump fakes, which I won't cover a lot in the video. Pump fakes are not a great idea because you end up faking out your teammate as well. You end up faking out the other fielders. It's better, again, just to sprint, show the ball, get rid of it when it's time. But a million pump fakes, they end up deking everyone, including your fielders. Rule number four, your goal is to try to get out in just one throw if possible, the worst two. But when it gets to three, four, five throws, you just have done a bad job because you violated rule number one, which is you probably didn't make the guy sprint. Again, if you put the fear of God into him and chase him like you're going to run him down, he's going to have to make a decision pretty quick. Lastly, making the runner choose the base he came to is ideal, but that's not always going to be realistic. And a lot of times you just have to chase the guy down, throw it to the next base. And then sure, if he isn't out then and he's still in the pickle, then you can run him back to the base he's coming to. But just because if you're the first baseman and you don't want him to go to second, doesn't mean you should fire to second right away. You can run him out or run him down, throw it late and try to get the out right there. It's not the end of the world if you're running the guy towards the next base, but again, you just need to be confident in your own ability. All right, so I've got a couple videos I'm overlaying, so check them out, and we're gonna learn a ton about rundowns today. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Here's our first one, and let's talk about what is good and not good about this example. So there's one throw, two throws, three throws, finally got him. So this was a good example of two major things going wrong. Number one, the golden rule is to make the guy sprint. If you make the runner sprint by sprinting at him, like legit sprinting at him, then he's going to have to make hard decisions and he's going to have to sprint as well. When the runner is sprinting, he's not going to be able to change direction very fast and he's going to be out much quicker. So if we watch this again, you'll see that he's never sprinting. Now, Drew initially took off pretty fast, but... They're throwing the ball too soon, and they're not really making the runner sprint. So again, even though some of the guys are running hard at different points, they're not running him long enough to make him have to actually sprint, and they're getting rid of the ball too quick. So if you just really run the guy hard for a while and then get rid of it, he's it's going to be a one-throw rundown. The other thing that we need to point out here in this is the goal is always to run to the right after you release the ball. If you do that, then no one runs into each other and you're never getting in the way of the runner. So Tyler here, after he makes his throw, he goes to the left, which is a no-no because then he risks running into another fielder or the runner running into him. The goal is always to, to go to your right side after you make your throw. So peel off to the right. Okay, so this is a good rundown. Let's look at this one and you'll see initially the difference. Our lefty here runs him hard and gets him to go and it's a one throw rundown. Very, very simple. He's making the runner sprint, and that's the main goal. Here's another well done rundown. From right here, he really takes off after him, makes him make a decision. So, again, even though he's not running hard at first, now he's got to go because he sees this guy coming after him. All right, hopefully, this tutorial on rundowns helped. Definitely subscribe to the channel, like it, share it with a friend, and I'll see you here in the next video.